Sita, when you first came to this school, we took you on account of a most entertaining essay you wrote about a parrot that belonged to your aunt. Ah, yes, sir. Hmm. Since then, your progress has been disappointing. I have here your exam papers from this year. Let's take a look at the general paper, shall we? Question one was, write an essay about perseverance. Yes, sir. Do you remember how you began this essay, Suter? Uh, no, sir. Read this, it'll help. Uh, general paper, final exam, T. Suter, autumn 1980. Subject, perseverance. Yes, get on with it. My aunt, who I live with, has a parrot called Perseverance. <laughs> One day. Yes, and you proceed to tell exactly the same story you told when you arrived at this school. Yes, sir. Here's a slightly different one. History, question five. What was notable about the late 50s? And your answer? My aunt, who I live with, used to have a parrot called 50s, who is now dead. The most notable thing about the late 50s was his enormous appetite. <laughs> and question seven. Uh, describe the South Sea bubble and its effect on investment. Go on. The South Sea bubble was a large goldfish <laughs> and its effects on investment, which was a parrot owned by my aunt, <laughs> who I live with. Sultan! Do you think I am some sort of cretin? You think I haven't noticed? It's with whom I live. My aunt with whom I live, not who I live with.